Alright guys, what is up? It's Jay here back with another video. So today I'm really really excited actually about this video because uh, so me, my nan and my mother were uh, sorting through my granddad's stuff because he tried wanted to find some F1 cars for him and of course it is early in the morning, that's when my head's not sorted out for recording yet but I don't really care um, and we were trying to find of course some F1 cars that he had made when he was a child he really wanted to see what they would look like again so we were going through all of his stuff and I found these these boxes full of old DC comics so I thought I'd go through them with you, I haven't looked at them yet, I don't know which ones are in there maybe some rare ones, maybe some not but uh, it says on the side here we've got Batman volume 13 to volume 21 and we've got Batman specials and Superman and Batman comics so uh, let's get into it, so I think we're going to do the Superman comics first because the Batman ones are a bit less, you know You know, I think they're a lot more interesting than Batman ones so we're going to leave those until last so let's do the Superman one, shall we? So let's get straight into it. This is what the boxes look like. They're pretty normal, basic boxes. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. It's like proper old comics. Firstly, we have Batman. Oh, Batman and Batman. Okay, Batman presents number seven. This comic, you can tell they're old because like, look at these pages, man. Look at the artwork. Amazing. This, these are comics, it's so good man, I love these comics. Alright, next one we have is Catwoman. Okay. So as you said, like, these are specials on the box. I'm guessing this is like all ones where it's not just the original Batman comics, it's like got some sort of second character with it. Batman Rayshar Ghoul. Oh, this one looks quite good. That one looks very good. What's this one? Special edition, 68 classic pages, 13 deadly foes, one epic tale. That one looks very cool. Oh, we've got a Joker. We've got a Joker comic, I think. And that special edition, Joker comic. Oh, so these are all special edition ones. Okay, yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. And then I think this is where we start to move on to the Batman and Superman ones. We've got the adventures of Superman. Very nice, these ones, these comics are so good man, like, these comics just look amazing. We've got a Riddler comic. The artwork on that is actually amazing, that's actually amazing artwork, I might just try and draw it, that looks so good. Um, comment down below if you think I should buy these off of him, because uh, he probably, I, I don't know, but these comics are amazing, and I've read, a f I've re I haven't read any of them yet, uh, I'm thinking of reading one of them, like, it's on the top right there. Bit of a Catwoman comic. It's alright, I guess. Catwoman's not my favourite person, so uh, I don't really care. Ooh, the comic I've just seen on the bottom of there. Batman and Superman. With, I swear I saw him before. Guest starring Robin and Wonder Woman. What an action pack comic. Speaking of Robin. Oh, I don't want that happening. Please don't do that. Speaking of the Boy Wonder. We have also, by the way, we've already got, like, probably, like, not even a brick of comics yet. There's so many. So each box of this is probably like at least two bricks of comics. I call them bricks because they are pretty much bricks. So like this kind of much isn't a brick. That's probably half a brick right there. So um yeah. Speaking of the boy wonder, we've actually got a Robin comic. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna face the back ends of them to the wind so they don't blow up the pages away. Because like I said, these comics are really really old. And uh, you can tell they're old, they're literally like paper, if you can hear this. It's literally paper, it's not like what it is now, where it's like, you know, card on the front of it. We've got a Superman Justice League comic. Very nice. We've got a lot of Superman comics, I think, we have here. We have got a lot of Superman comics. So, we have got another Superman comic. We have also got another Superman comic. There's gonna be a lot of Superman comics, guys, just saying. Alright, got another Superman comic. And two more Superman comics. Very nice. I think these are all Superman comics. The rest of these. Oh my god. So we've got a whole brick of comics now. This is what I'd call a brick of comics. 
right here. That's probably a brick of comics right there. So we've got Superman. Superman, Justice League. Superman, Superman. There's a lot of Superman. My granddad's more of a DC Batman fan, which you'll probably see in a minute because there is a, a shit ton of Batman ones. Uh, we've got another Superman. Lovely. Can't have too many Superman in life, can you? We've got this whole entire brick of Superman. And also on the back of these comics, they all have like these little advertisements, which I love. This is what I mean. Old new comics will never be the same, man. These comics, by the way, back in the day, just to prove that they are actually old ones. Back in the day, so these comics now would be like, they'll probably go for like three pounds, wouldn't they, in UK stores. Look at the pricing on that there. 85p. 85p for a comic. Like, man. I'd love to go back in time with like a like hundred pounds. But I could buy like, you know, like 40 of these. Um Right, we've got Superman with Justice League. But yeah, what I meant is by the advertisements on the back, can you see that? There's always like advertisements on the back of all of these, and they're so cool because they're like little strips of advertisement comics that are like this. Just so cool. We've got another Superman one with Justice League, with this like, sort of spectre on it. We have got like this, look, Batman Annual 1991, this date was. This comic came out in 1991. Look how cool that is. Got Batmobiles and stuff like that. This one's quite cool, Batgirl comic. That's a new one that we haven't seen yet, Batgirl. I think Batgirl's probably one of the most underrated female superheroes. I really like Batgirl, she's quite cool. The Penguin, Penguin got his own comic back in the day. Come on now, Penguin's getting his own comic. What's this? Batman and Superman. That's probably one of the dopest art covers I've ever seen in my life. Just so clean and just so original. Uh, we've got... Oh, yes. Okay. So this is like the card one. It's not. It's still old because it's like... Well, this is only £1.75. What? For special editions now, it's like £10. But uh, we've got the Joker comic. This is sick. This one looks good. I like the look of that one. We have Superman Justice League. A lot of Superman Justice Leagues. And that's we're starting to get through the backs of the mount starting to come. You can start seeing it and the prices increase. Like now it's £1.10p for these sort of normal comics. Yeah, you can start seeing they start to sort of increase as the years go on, which is ridiculous, I think. I think they should have always been like, you know, their paper. They should always be, you know, cheap, I think, but uh, whatever. Got Superman. This is, this is quite a. Um, I think I read that one online somewhere. Oh, the Suicide Squad, guys. Superman, Justice League, and the Suicide Squad. Well, versus the Suicide Squad. So that's actually a new comic. Not a new comic, that's like a new comic based off of that one. So, oh no, this one's been ripped a bit. Oh no. Batman, the Justice League International. But you can see, it's been ripped a bit, look. So that one's not mint condition. Granddad, my granddad used to keep these really, really good condition. So I'm going to try not to, you know, manhandle them a bit too much. This one feels really, really, Jesus. Oh, that's because it's two there. Hold on. Yeah, they do do this, unfortunately, because they are quite thingy. But, yeah, look, see, knock-knock jokes. Cool. And we've got Superman the Justice League, again. Got a lot of Superman Justice League ones, a lot. This isn't even half of the collection, by the way. Hold on, what percent's my phone I don't know if I, I don't want it to die halfway through this. And we've got another Superman Justice League. And another Superman Justice League. A lot of Superman comics. Suey. Alright, we've got only like probably like what five, three more comics, four more comics, and they're all probably Superman. Superman Justice League. I'm gonna quick fire them now. Superman Justice League. Superman Justice League. Ooh, Superman Justice League Return of Dark Side. That one looks good. And that's it for the Superman comics. Well, for the Superman Batman Special Edition comics. Let's get these all out and show you them all together. So this is what I'd represent as a brick of comics. It's pretty much the same size as it, like same width as a brick. So that's what I would say a brick of comics look like. All right, here we go. Ooh. All right, I'm excited. I want to see what this looks like all together without the box on it. Ready, guys? That is how many comics Batman and Superman my granddad has. And he probably, I think he has like another two boxes full. But that is the Superman box. Very nice. Now we move on to the main event, the Batman comics. These Batman comics, oh, there's a lot. 
So the first one is actually probably one of the best ones, I think. I've read one of them. I don't know ones. I didn't read any of those, but I read one of these, which was Batman with the Man Bat. You can see. This one's probably one of the greatest comics I've ever read in my life. So good. Just amazing. And like I said, this one, the characters, amazing. 80, 80p as well. Makes life even better. Like, who doesn't want an 80p comic? We've got Batman, year one. An original. That's what it looks like inside, shall we? Oh my god, the artwork. Look at the artwork, man. The artwork's just fantastic. And back with a little blurb about the comic as well. Uh, how much was that one? 99p. Volume 2, number 2. 99p. Then we have Batman. There's going to be a lot of Batman. Year 2, Batman. This is Most of the suits you're going to see in this comics are going to be blue. Because of course all the comic kind of... I know the new ones, the 252 ones are like grey and black. This is OG Batman. This is like grey and blue comics. We've got Batman. Batman Betrayal. Batman Revenge. Ooh, that's quite good. Batman, the many deaths of Batman. Very nice. Oh, and here we have Batman, the many deaths of Batman. Conclusion. With an animated series thing on the back. Very cool. I'm going to move this out of the way so you guys can see the comic better. Next we have Batman, the Riddler returns in the Dark Knight, Dark City. Very nice. These comics are just so amazing, dude. Like, you literally can't get better than these comics, unfortunately. Batman Magazine versus Anarchy. I don't know much about Anarchy. I know him from the Batman, I think it was City or Asylum. No, definitely City or Origins game. So, that would be quite good to have a little read up on what the character is. Batman, bonus features deaths in the family. I did not, I did read that right. It says deaths in the family, not deaths in the family. Like, you guys might know, it says deaths in the family. We've also got another animated series promotion on the back. You've got to remember, you've got to think the animated series was made ages ago, man, and like how good animated it is as well. Batman the Riddler Triumph. And we've got all that. That artwork's really nice. I really like that artwork. So these are the comics that I remember when I was like, you know, and my granddad used to give me some comics. I remember these sort of ones with like the picture in the middle and it said like at the side of it, like this. Batman. I'm just going to read one of the storylines. This issue, free to enter Batman movie competition. Hmm. Interesting. Batman, Raish Argul. Very nice. Batman, free postcards inside of this one as well. And this is year one. I think this is probably part two of year one. Or just part one, actually. Probably part one. It's definitely part one. Next we have, I read this one, this one's really good as well. Batman, Two-Face's Second Chance. This one is where Two-Face gets, well, Two-Face kidnaps Jason Todd's Robin. Yeah, all of these comics, I think I've got Jason Todd's Robin in it, which is my favourite Robin. This is, again, why I love these comics. And the next one we've got is Batman, Blind Justice. This one's selling for 85p. They're, they're all in the 80p kind of range. Like, imagine going into the store, right, and having 80p on you and just saying, give me a comic. Like, how can you get a comic for 80p? Like, now they're like £3, £4. Probably bumping it up to £5 now just for a normal comic. And it's like £10 for a special edition comic. These are special, these are special edition comics, and you get them for like, what? Like, a pound? Like, what? But I can buy a Freddo for a pound now? Like, what do you mean? Anyway, Batman, did Robin die tonight? Does he? Who knows? Read the comic and you'll find out. Alright, let's get another brick out. These, by the way, comics are quite heavy. Especially when you don't want to bend them. They can be quite heavy. Alright, we've got Batman. The fight for Jason Todd continues. So, as I said, Jason Todd's Robin is the main Robin in these storylines. Nightwing's kind of gone and done his own thing. That was made in 1991. Jesus. That's old. Uh, free Batman movie bookmark. Nice. Batman, the beginning of the Ratra. Rat catcher. Sorry, I read that wrong. Batman, the man who falls. Very nice. They have the same sort of like uh, logo as well, which I really like. Batman, mortal clay. Then we have Batman, the Batman of yesterday and today. 
85p again. Like, these comic prices are actually getting me. Okay, so looks like we have three comics based off the same thing. That like Two-Face one had a comic about this, like, radioactive guy. This one and this one both have the same thing. I guess this is part one, two, and three, which is quite cool. But it, my granddad, of course my granddad has every single part. Like, this guy's literally a Batman fanatic. Uh, inside Burning Pit with Corrosive Man. Silly. Batman, these are my favourites. Batman Classic Tales, I read some of these on uh, online. Batman Classic Tales are one of my, my favourite comics. Uh, actually, no, I think my favourite comics out of all of them, I think they're novels more than comics, but Batman Nightfall, probably my favourite with the Bane. I love Bane, so, you know, just goes hand in hand. Batman, an American Batman in London. Ooh, he's going to get shanked. Batman's going to start shanking people. Uh, Batman, beware the kiss of Poison Ivy. That's quite a cool one. Batman battles the mole. I want to move this along because it's going to be like 20 minutes of me just doing this. Batman. Worlds to face the ghost of Wayne Manor. So that's obviously the storyline before the Man Bat storyline because I read the Man Bat storyline and they call him the ghost of Manor. Guys, look at this, right? Since when did you know comics advertised guns for kids? You only get that in like the 90s, okay? Like, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> Next we have, and look, bro, look at this. They have like a yogurt commercial on the back. That's actually a comic strip. Why didn't they do this for normal advertisements? I'd buy everything. Batman Classic Tale. The player on the other side. So they've got an evil Batman maybe in that one. The comments are starting to bend. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not going to lie, so please stop doing that. Bendy comics. Okay, we have... Batman. I'm not reading all of that. But, uh, Batman. Next we have Batman. Again, there's just no title on it. It just says Batman. Very cool. Right, I'm going to quick fire these because it's going to be too long of a So we've got Batman. Not on here. Comics are starting to fly around in the wind as well. Oh, this one looks good. Batman, story from the 40s and 90s. That one's going to look, that one's probably amazing. See Etchagon on this one. Batman magazine. Yeah, it's got Etchagon in it. The very first Batman stories in this comic. No way. Oh my god, yes way. The very first Batman comic, look. Oh my god, guys. Look at this. The very first Batman comic. Look at his suit. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm reading that one. Alright, then we have Batman magazine. Batman magazine. We have another Batman magazine. And then we have Batman. Sorry about that. We have Batman, the movie, Suey. Okay, we have this, our last book of comics now. And then that's it for the end of the video. Try and get it out without ripping the pages off. Wow, okay. All right, let's just get into it. Batman and Nightwing. This is what Nightwing's old suit look like, guys, for all you youngsters out there. We have Batman Adventures. We have Batman Call for Cats. Meow. We have Batman Is Robin Dead? We have Batman Magazine. Batman Magazine. Batman Magazine. Batman Magazine. Two Jokers in the back. Batman Magazine. Batman Magazine. Batman magazine. Then we have the original Batman. These are like the original Batman comics with the, the original logo. Batman, Poison Ivy. A nice villain to go along with that nice old look. That artwork's amazing. That is literally phenomenal. And then we've got a uh, feet. Everyone loves feet, so that's fantastic. But a uh, Batman. I'm trying to get Hunter along because my friends are probably going to die soon. Batman. And our last and final comic. Batman! Who would have guessed Batman, our last final comic? So guys, that is it 
for all of these comics. I mean, I think personally, my granddad needs help because he has a lot of Batman stuff in his house. Like, I'll, I'll probably do like a tour of my granddad's stuff if he lets me. Because as you know, it's his stuff. I don't want him to know if he wants it on the internet or not. But uh, if, if I'm allowed, I'll do a tour to show you guys all of his stuff. Because he's got a bunch of Batman stuff. Like, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, so that's it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.